Welcome to this training on inverter technology. Our goal is to make these classes as simple and easy to understand as possible. To accomplish this, we will include real-time plots, graphs, and live measurement samples. We are sure that you will find these classes very interesting and you will learn a lot. Inverter technology is completely based on electronics. This means that air conditioning technicians must now understand how electricity works within circuits. Before, we only needed to know two conductors, a line and a neutral. We connected a device or a motor and it worked. But now, with inverter technology, we must understand the entire path of electricity within the circuit. We are no longer satisfied with only line and neutral 110 volts, 127 volts, 220 volts. Now we need to understand the entire path of electricity within a circuit. Only then can we understand the inverter technology that is completely based on electronics. The bad thing is that this means that we must specialize in this subject, electronics. But the good thing is that we will also understand what conventional electronic boards are. This will allow us to have a deeper and more complete knowledge of how electronic systems work. Let's start by doing this analysis and understanding well what this is about. A question that we always ask when we start with our live classes, in this case they are recorded, is, what is electricity? Well, some student always answers us that electricity is the flow of electrons, and that's perfect. Whenever we talk about electricity, we are talking about the flow of electrons. A comparison that we often do in order to fully understand how electricity works is to compare it with water. And with this example, we are going to make several points of comparison. For example, let's imagine that we have this circuit. We have a water tank with water and pressure. We are going to put an easy to identify color. Now let's imagine that we have a conductor and also through this pipe that is going to transport the water, we have some resistors that make it more difficult for the water to pass through. This comparison will help us a lot to understand electricity. If we talk about having a water tank with a certain level of water, this will indicate how much water pressure I have in the circuit. We are going to draw here as if they were electrons exerting certain pressure on a circuit. The pressure of water in electricity is what we measure with voltage or tension. If we compare it to water, this would then be the pressure. On the one hand, we have what the water pressure is as part of the comparison to better understand it. If we continue analyzing the circuit, we have more parameters to take into account such as the flow or amount of water or electrons that are going to flow through a conduit. This depends on the voltage, but it also depends on the width of the duct. If it is wider, more water will flow. If there is more pressure, more water will circulate. The amount of electrons circulating in a circuit would be in electricity. The amperage, the current, or intensity. If we compare it to water again, we would be talking about the flow. Well, and one more parameter that we are going to analyze with this comparison is a certain part of the circuit that is going to exert a certain resistance to the passage of electrons. The water here is going to have a little more trouble going through the nature of the pipe that we are drawing. In electricity, this is the resistance that we measure in ohms. The higher ohms, the higher resistance. The lower the ohms, the lower the resistance. If we compare it to water, this would be a resistance to the passage of water. Anything that exerts some resistance, 
We are going to do this comparison between water and electricity very often because it helps a lot to understand how electrons work in an electronic circuit and we have to understand it well in order to understand inverter technology.